Hello everybody, my name is Sergey. Welcome back to another episode of the best PowerPoint games. And today I've got a brand new PowerPoint game related to Halloween and it's called Luigi's Mansion. And now let's jump into the game. Best PowerPoint games. Press start. You can skip this transition. So your objective here is to find a way to King's Boo's lair and defeat him. Good luck. So press continue. So we are in a hall and here we've got three characters, Mario, Princess Peach and Luigi. They all have poltergeist, let's call it poltergeist 7000. <laughs> Everyone can suck up the furniture. So starting the game right here, you divide your students into three teams. So when the students decide the characters, they need to press on a different room. We have bedroom, living room, dining room and so on. So what you should do here, you need to collect coins and ghosts. So when you collect 10 coins, you're gonna get a secret arrow to a secret room. But if you're gonna get three ghosts, then you also can get to the secret room. So to win this game, you need to collect the coins and defeat King Boo, the last ghost, to win this game. So now let me show you what to do. Let's say that we're playing as Luigi and we would like to press and go into the living room. So here you can choose any different furniture. Well, only this furniture, no any other furniture. You can press here, for example, on the wall, on the mirror, because I didn't put the mirror. But if you would like to put the mirror, you, <laughs> you are more than welcome. All right, so press on the furniture right here. Uh, let's press on the sofa, for example. And sofa has a ghost. Now a student need to select these buttons with a ghost. Let's press on this one. So this means we didn't get the ghost. And we need to press back and so on. So here is the poltergeist machine that's sucking up all the furniture so you can suck up all the furniture from this room. Some furniture uh, has a ghost and some have coins. Okay, now let's go back. So Luigi didn't get any ghosts and no coins. So let's continue. Also, by the way, you need to decide who goes first in this game using a dice maybe or something else, a spinner. Let's press on a dining room. And let's select the table. So if you're not gonna get a ghost, you're gonna get a question by pressing on the furniture. You can modify the questions. I'm gonna show you how to do that later. Then you need to press on a question to hide it. And suck up the furniture and you're gonna get coins. Two coins for this. You can press on the coins and go back and give two coins to Princess Peach. Okay, now Mario, let's go to the bathroom. Let's press on the sink, answer the question, and suck up the sink. Got three coins, let's go. Let's go to the garage, press on a car. Press on this ghost. We got the ghost. Now we'll go back and add one to the ghost. And playing like this, sucking up all the furniture in the rooms, getting the coins or the ghosts until somebody gonna get 10 coins or three ghosts. Let's say that Mario right now gonna get 10 coins, for example. 
And now we've got a passage, the way to the secret room. And you press on this arrow. And now here we need to defeat King Boo. Uh, King Boo has three hearts, Mario has three hearts and we've got a spinner in the middle. So on the spinner, we've got King Boo. If you're gonna get King Boo, that means you need to press on King Boo and King Boo gonna throw a fireball at Mario. And if you're gonna get this bomb, you press on Mario and Mario gonna throw this bomb at King Boo. And also we've got Miss. Uh, if you don't like Miss option, you can change it. I'm gonna show you how to change it later. All right, let's spin the spinner. Uh, we've got got the black line, so need to spin spin again. Okay, now press on the Mario. Okay, and continue. Okay, one more time, and one more time. So Mario wins the game. Press on the frame. And Mario is a winner. Now let me show you what happens if you lose to King Boo. And using Luigi, let's press on the King Boo. Like this. Uh, King Boo uses Fireball. And Luigi turns into a frame. And when Luigi turns or anybody, any character, Princess Peach or Mario turns into a frame, you press back and you press on Luigi because Luigi lost and now Luigi out of the game. And the rest of the teams keep on playing the game until somebody defeats King Boo and wins the game. If nobody wins the game, then you need to start the game again from the start. But let me show you how to modify the questions. Here is the hole. Uh, we don't need to modify anything here. Next, we're going into garage. And garage right here, all the questions you can see right on top. You just move this question box, change the question. And then here also question number two, slide down, save the PowerPoint and you're gonna be good to go. Also for kitchen, living room, and dining room, bathroom, and bedroom. Also, if you don't want to modify like this by dragging the question boxes up and down, you can go to the shape format, then go to selection pane, and Q4, Q3, this is the question box. So you can hide the question box until the question one and then modify the question then click on question two modify the question click on question three modify and so on and then save the PowerPoint. now let me show you how to modify the spinner so spinner very easy just go to this slide and press on the spinner press on this miss and change to I don't know double double throw of the bomb for example you can just type whatever you want by the way if you would like to change numbers on the coins you just press on the coin and change the number to number three number one number two and so on but remember to use the fonts otherwise your numbers and questions will look different from my game uh, you can find the link in the description to download the font. Now let me show you how to change the ghost appear from the car. We would like to to have this ghost appear from the trash bin for example, right? So we need to go to animations, then animation pane, then drag this down and here trigger and the name is a car. So when you press it on the car, the ghost comes out. Now we need to check where is a trash bin. When you press it on the trash bin, we have a question one comes out. But we need to have the ghost to come out. So we need to select 
this all thing but except the car we don't need a car so we remove the car animation and leave it in a car for now okay so trigger on click and go to trash bin we need to press on the trash bin and we need a ghost to come out and also the buttons but we don't need a question so we need to move with this question to the car so we need to trigger on a car okay like this put it under the car because we press in the car the car animation will teeter and also the question will come up so we need to move this trash bin down under the song and also move the trash bin to appear let's put it right here okay and also disappear trash bin disappear let's put it right here all right and the rest so we don't need trash bin anymore here delete the trash bin and now we don't move these animations anywhere we actually need to move these two animations of the car and trigger on a question one right question one no, no. Qu question two question two like this move the car right here and move the car over here this the car means disappearing and this car appears okay and the only animation we don't have is the car teeter okay so press teeter when you press on a car you press animation teeter and then you move the car down and put in this question to animation and like this and now let's check this out okay so we've got the ghost and we have this ghost buttons up here I'm gonna tell you why they appear here but now let's press on this trash bin and see what's gonna happen okay the ghost will appear all right let's see what will happen when I press on a car okay the question will appear and when I press here great now we need to remove the ghost from appearing above the car and also the buttons so why they appearing it's because uh, this animation ghost button one is above the animation of a trash bin so we need to select ghost button one animation and trigger as a part of a click sequence and then go back and press on the button goes button one and these animations all go down under this trash bin so we need to put them all down not above them so if the animation will be above them the buttons animation then the ghost will appear when you start the slideshow so let's go and put all these ghost buttons down button and here and number three okay now all these ghost buttons they're all down under the trash bin the ghost is right here above the trash bin now the animation paths a little bit not aligned so we need to press on this path and move it to this poltergeist okay and also this line and move it to poltergeist okay and also move these coins on a car all right and the last thing we need to do is to check the timing what's going on with the timing so we need the scream 
appear right away. And also, disappearing of the trash bin, 0 0.5 second, and a car, 0 0.5 second. Press the car. Perfect. And press on the trash bin. And press again. And perfect. And now we're gonna save PowerPoint. And that's it all right guys i hope you will have a blast with this game and if you like this video in the game hit like subscribe and i'll see you in my next video peace <laughs>